You should see me in a crown. Well, he secured a BAFTA award for his performance in this role and is without doubt one of the most talented actors of his generation. What a pleasure it is to welcome Andrew Scott, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You know, from from the from the moment you you came on uh, this at uh, the screen as as Moriarty, and you opened your mouth, I wasn't expecting to see it, and I just heard this church town Dublin <laughs> drawl. Yeah. I, I was expecting something very different. Yeah, so yeah. How, how does a, a lad from church town become Sherlock Holmes' nemesis? How does that happen? Well, I just auditioned for it. I think. I, I, I always felt that I had uh, a, a villain in me. Yeah, <laughs> and the rest. Uh, but uh, so I just auditioned, and uh, and uh, that swimming pool scene that, that yes, that was at the, at the end of series one. They they because uh, it was just very late into production. They just wrote this scene, the swimming pool scene, very very quickly, and uh, I, they sent it to me a couple of hours before the uh, before the uh, audition, and. Um, uh, yeah, they, they looked a little frightened, so I sort of knew that it had gone you, you were, were you a Holmes fan going into the series, or was it no, just another I, I, part? No, well, I mean, I, I'd read some of the stories. Yeah. I think the guys who write it, Mark Gatiss and Stephen Moffat, are huge um, uh, Sherlock enth enthusiasts, you know. So I think the reason it's become so successful is because there, there's nothing cynical about it, you know. Mm. They love it. They, they, they know all the versions of it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so I think that's why it's become such a... Be because it, it commands uh, an, an intense fan base, shall we say. We'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. <laughs> but I do want to just talk a bit more about the character and, and your, your, um, your portrayal of Moriarty. And I'm dying to know, I was dying to ask you if I was to ever meet you, was how did you perfect something that is so demented and psychotic? Not an easy thing to do, so how did you do that? Did you have to dig deep or are you kind of a little bit demented yourself? Well, I come from... <laughs> Be careful now. The 12th fittest family in Ireland. <laughs> um, so, uh, so uh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I think you've got to look at what's sort of scary within your own, within your own soul, you yeah, know? Yeah. I think, because otherwise then you start copying other people. And I didn't really want to do that. And I think what makes a really scary, scary villain is, is, is something that you don't expect. You think, God, what the hell is this? And, yeah. and uh, I, I don't think people thought that they were going to see me as Moriarty. I don't think they, the TV audience had any relationship with sure. my face, which I think kind of helps. Very much so. You yeah. know, that it wasn't a, a, a TV face at the, at, uh, at the time. And um, uh, so, yeah, I think you've got to just look at, you know, the, the dark side of your own self. So then you can sort of create something that's a little bit more original, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think they're very clever in that they don't overuse the character, you know. Yeah. A little bit like Hannibal Lecter, I think if you... He's only in 20 minutes of, of The Silence of the Lambs. I yeah. think it's, it's, it's the talking about him and it's the, it's the, um, the build-up. He's the best bit, I mean, strangely to say. Yeah, well, I think you've got to love the villain as well as, yeah. as, as, the, as the hero. Did you... Did, was there much discussion about your... That, I mentioned that accent that you kept. I mean, yeah. you would think it's Sherlock Holmes and Baker Street, London and Posh. Yeah. Uh, and you don't, certainly don't think Irish. No. Uh, so wh where was the decision to kind of keep it Irish then? Well, I did... I, I think I auditioned with a sort of, sort of villainy... Hello. Sort of, hello, yeah, sort yeah. Of, hello, darling. A sort of accent. <laughs> and, um, but... Uh, no, I think it's an Irish name, and I think I think going with that. I think if you're going to going to be audacious and cast somebody like me in in, in that in that in that character, you might as well go the whole hog and just yeah. make it and so. go for it. Go for uh, it. Yeah. it. It was the most tweeted program of recent times. I mean, yeah. in terms of talkability, uh, there, it was hitting, hitting about ten thousand tweets per minute was it, uh, yeah. after the last yeah. season, which is an extraordinary thing. Yeah. I mean, so the 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 phenomenal response to it has that been something that you you've been uh, taken aback by, or yeah, you, you're I rolling with it? I don't, I don't think you could, uh, we couldn't have uh, foreseen how, how successful. Yeah. I always knew that it was going to be a, 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 a big, a, a success of, of, to some degree, but I, you, couldn't, you couldn't foresee how big. How, how how big. big. Uh, let's talk about Benedict Cumberbatch for a second, because he's, he's, got, uh, an, he's another man with a big fan base, yeah. people, people like him. He's, he's uh, not a conventionally good-looking leading man, and yet he's yeah. extremely attractive to a lot of women, as you know, yeah. and no doubt a few men, as, yeah. we're, as we're at it. Yeah. Um, how is he there? She, there he is now. There he um, is. <laughs> what, how do you enjoy working with him? Yeah, he's fantastic. He's, uh, uh, both of us um, uh, kind of came from the theatre, you know, and yeah. uh, I, think, I think because we were both, you know, in our early 30s when, when Sherlock started, and so I think it's quite good for actors to not have that huge amount of scrutiny too early in your yeah, career. I yeah. think if it happens to you, 
you, you, it can throw you off a little bit and people can boss you around and tell you to do things that you don't really want to do and you start going after things for the, for the wrong reasons. And um, Yeah, I think we had 10 years on you, Benedict, as a, as a theatre actor for, for years around the, the scene. And, uh, so, yeah, I think the quality of the writing and the, the, the sort of theatrical nature of the writing really helped us. I think he's a, I think he's a real, real star and he's a great pal. And, uh, yeah, and, no, it's and great to see all this stuff. That's is happening. he a good kisser? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you did have to kiss him, as you know, from the rooftop there that last... Do you know what? That is tame compared to some of the... Um, some, some of the... Of the, the, the fan we get... Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a new, there's a sort of a new dynamic that happens among fans now where they send you... Well, I suppose short films, is yeah. how you describe it. Of what? Well, th what they do is they, is they take love scenes that you may have been in in the past. Yeah. And love scenes that someone... Benedict, for example. Has been in. May have been in the past. And they put them together. <laughs> and then they give them to you. And they usually, you know, they're, they're usually very sort of shaky, shy hands. <laughs> and then you watch and you think, Jesus Christ. <laughs> when did that happen? Because <laughs> it's incredibly, incredibly realistic. Yeah. So, uh... So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you get some it's kind of disturbing stuff, but also you get some... <laughs> you get some lovely stuff. Some I mean, stuff Benedict too. Cumberbatch's uh, fans are called the Cumberbitches, as you yeah, know. Yeah. Um, are, are, do, you have, do yours have, an, have a name, a nickname? Or? Uh, yeah, they're called Scotties. Scotties. And uh, that's not bad. And how are they? Or what, how are they in general? Uh, I, 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 I imagine they're well. Yes, yeah, you yeah, hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, are they, are, they, are they demented, to use the word again? Are they... No, they're not, actually. Most, most, you know, you get the occasional, you get the occasional odd uh, person. Yes. Uh, but no, for the most part, actually, it's, it's a real outlet for people. It's a whole other, other, other world that we're not really in control of. And they, you get sent really beautiful drawings and kind of some very, very moving um, <laughs> letters and, and things. You know, people really like it. It's sold to 200 and... 20 countries all around the world, so, yeah. um, so you so get you lots of different types. All sorts, I all think, sorts is, is the message. Well, Rosalind Harry, we put a thing out on Facebook during the week to, to offer two tickets to uh, somebody who's, who likes the show, okay. uh, to, to, uh, who might be a fan of, of, of Sherlock and, and your own. And Rosalind Harrington won the tickets. Where are you, Rosalind? How are you? Hi, fine, thank you. Good. Well done for winning the tickets. Thank you. Hi, Rosalind. And why, do you want to say hello to Andrew? Hi, Andrew. Hi, yeah. Do you want to ask him anything? Um, no, I just want to say, like, well done for your work on the show. I think it's fantastic. So that's Thank all. You. Can, you. Say? Thanks, Can we see your tattoo that you had been talking yeah. to us about? I'll, I'll explain. It's what, just what? a charm bracelet, Keep and it up there. I have a key just with two two one B reference to the apartments because I'm a big <laughs> fan of the books. Okay. And I think the show is just a perfect adaptation oh. and. Yeah, that's, that's and, it. And, and 221B, of course, for, for homeless fans Baker will know Street. that it yeah, is. Yeah, Baker Street. So. Yeah. It's the address. Yeah. See, yeah, you're such a fan, you look at me as if say, yeah, it's Baker Street. You're <laughs> what, are you, what are you thinking? So, so you're happy to see Andrews yeah, in, as yeah, Moriarty definitely. and all that? Yeah, it's perfect. It's like, like the show, the best thing about the show is that the books were so like complex characters and they brought it really well onto TV. Great. I think it'll be around in years to come still yeah. watching yeah. it. So. Well done on winning the tickets. You're a good sport and thanks for coming in tonight. Thanks. Um, so, Andrew, I want to mention, for people who don't know, what age are you now? I'm 26. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm 37. You're 37. 37. Yeah. So, <laughs> what people might know is that, that Andrew burst onto the, uh, to our screens uh, in, a, in, a, in a tour de force display some years ago, and that's when he came to most of our attention, when, when you were in this ad. Jesus. <laughs> Today, the fiber fitway. That's good. Fun <laughs> memories. Yeah, I have really fun memories. It's so great because uh, we don't have a we don't have a video of that in our house. My my mum will be delighted. With we'll that. sort that out for you. Uh, but uh, I remember it really clearly because I remember thinking. This porridge, what is this, disgusting, I just thought it just looked like this horrible, I still, I still don't like porridge. I wish you wouldn't have no, said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has got no. great advertising. Hang on a second. Flavins will be delighted with the Where's song. Mr. Flavin? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I should have told you. <laughs> what does Alan Parcher say? Surprise me in rehearsal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mr. Flavin, how are you? Very well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How's business? Oh, very good, but uh, we but could do with better comments than that. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the young boy, Andrew Scott, uh, filming the ad? 
Uh, well, uh, we did it up in in a scary and in a scary in a scary village and up in the woods around that and a house in Dublin. Yeah. So it uh, actually went uh, went very well. Wait, can, can, can you have his tracksuit back? What? Do you uh, have his tracksuit still? You do. What I have here. I hear now. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> is that the actual tracksuit? That is the actual. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> that's scroll time's sake. Oh my God, I feel so guilty. I'm so <laughs> Is that the actual? It was when I was a child. child. It was yeah. when, oh, no, I, I've already said I still you hate farts. You did say you hate farts. Yeah. <laughs> that's, anyway. that's the actual tracksuit. But the only thing is, my children actually wore it as well, so it's a little bit, wo oh, little <laughs> bit more yeah. worn than when you had it. Oh, well, you're not to be evaluated, so Mr. Flavin, in fairness to you. <laughs> well, I, I, I remember the Flavins, uh, I, remember they, they I remember I got, I was paid generously at the time, I remember it so clearly, I was paid £78. What did you do with the money? I bought, I'll tell you, I bought a bunk bed, you know those bunk beds <laughs> that had um, a wardrobe and a desk oh, underneath? We all wanted one the of those. the coolest guy in the Best present ever. <laughs> OK. So the, so the porridge was great in the end, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember, kids, porridge pays. Um, <laughs> let's, let's go back to what you're doing, because you've got a few projects on the go. Big Irish movie coming up soon. Look at uh, yeah, yeah, how yeah. neatly you folded that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do, I, yeah, we've do, we, last year we shot um, a film called The Stag, which oh, is um, a, a film with Peter MacDonald and Amy Huberman Great. and um, uh, uh, Hugh O'Connor and Michael Legg and Andrew Bennett, and we shot it up the Dub Dublin um, um, mountains, and it's about um, kind of modern I Irish males. Um, people have been asking me recently if it's, if it's like the kind of the Irish version of The Hangover, which it isn't. It's no. sort of, it's, it's a, a little bit uh, warmer and full of heart. And um, we had our, um, our premiere at the Toronto Film Festival, which Great. is a big endorsement of the movie, and it's been sold all around the world. It'll be out in, um, in, in Ireland across the country on March the 7th, and in the UK on March the 14th, Great. and then across the world. So we'll, we'll have a look at that, and we'll be watching in Frankenstein with, uh, who you know with that, uh, uh, James McAvoy? James McAvoy, Dan Radcliffe, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're we'll filming that at the moment. It's a big, big old number. So um, it's, it's yeah. all going on for you yeah, at the it's moment. All, it's all, it's all good, well, look, yeah. this, this will not be the last time you're on the program. It'll be the last time you're invited to the Flatlands Factory for yeah, a tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> it certainly won't be the last time you're on this show. Continued success. Thank you're you playing a blinder. Much. Andrew Scott, Thank ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's so neat. All right. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Right, you go and get yourself a nice bowl of porridge, I know. Yeah, yeah.